Hello, all my recruits. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to go over the weapons I recommend for Warframe players returning or new, as I feel that since there's such a vast amount of weapons in the game, I wanted to share what I would consider to be my favorites and how I believe they should be modded when it comes to playing the game overall. When it comes to playing Warframe, you'll find out that there are a vast amount of weapons and each one does their own thing, and that dictates what would be meta or not, as well as whether or not you will use them during your time playing. That being, some weapons are burst fire, some are full auto, some are semi-fired, and some are just a laser beam that keeps going. So, as to not make this video be hours long, I will be going over my three favorite weapons in each category, that being primary, secondary, and melee. Each one of them will be a variety of weapon Slightly. types, ranging from a pistol, to a shotgun, to even uh, the local kitchen knife that you'll find in your household. But each one will be a different version that someone at any time can acquire, just maybe not at a quick time frame. So, when it comes to the weaponry, most people base it off of what they prefer and what they feel. Well, feels correct to use in their arsenal, so to speak. That's what they will always go to. It's their go-to option. I, too, do the same thing. I have a certain list of weapons I use constantly. It's always the same one, same rotation, just changes. But for this, let's start with my primary recommendations. My first one would be the Strun, or depending on if you are a later player, Strun Wraith or Strun Prime. This shotgun here is hands down one of my favorite shotguns. The reason is, is it's similar to a pump shotgun. You basically lay out all your rounds, after you're done, you reload them in, and then you keep going and do it again and do it again. So, to show off its base stats, this is unmodded and with no buffs from anybody. As you can see, these are still path enemies, these are level 125. Not that bad, to be honest has a nice spread, the only downside to it is, well, you're seeing it, has a rather slow reload, but it applies impact, it applies puncture, slash, and yeah, it just applies a bit more slash and impact. So, I really like this thing. It's a fun weapon to use, it hits real hard, it's strong. So, it has pretty good base stats too. 36 crit chance, low status, but as you can see, it's a crit weapon. So the way you would usually build it, as you see, it's primarily impact and slash, you would go in, and in my opinion, the way you should upgrade this is, funnily enough, in my first config. I like Vigilante Armaments, you don't need to run it, it's obviously easy to change, but I recommend a Viral Heat build. Now you may be seeing that that slash is down, now we'll get to that. So, we have Vigilante Fervor for the increase in fire rate to counteract the critical deceleration. You can obviously change these out for whatever amounts you prefer, you can use Prime Ravage, Prime Point Blank, any of those, or Normal Point Blank and Normal Ravage. I'm using what I prefer. Scattering Inferno for the heat and status, Tox Barrage for the toxin, and Frigid Blast for the cold. And Vigilante Armaments is a replaceable mod, you don't necessarily need it. If you don't have it, you can always replace it for... Where'd it go? You can replace it for more elements. Elements like more incendiary, more toxin, more ammo, more puncture, any of the mods you prefer. But this is how I like it. This is including a ribbon, but again, not needed. You can easily replace this for point blank. Primary Merciless, which gives it more damage and more reload speed, which fixes its biggest problem. Galvanized Acceleration, so it shoots a little bit faster. You can obviously replace that with any other x you prefer, like Vigilante Supplies, Double Barrel Drift, any of these that you prefer. Now, to show it off as is. Now you may see this, we'll get to that next. I forgot they're still there, but not moved much. Now, as you will see, one hit, and I've applied Viral Heat Slash, and that already went away. Impact and Puncture. Well, I can hit my shots. Once you start getting it rolling, you'll actually start getting better and better and better. As you can see, as after this couple kills, it starts hitting harder and harder. Now you may see that, like I showed, I have a thing called an Incarnate Adapter on it. My Incarnate Adapter basically upgrades the weapon. This upgrade will go from Evolution 1 Incarnate form to Blaze Evolution, where I've chosen Multi Shot, I've given it projectile speed, and I've given it a crit chance. Now we can activate that and show off what it does. It basically causes a big explosion, which grants you don't use direct hit, but it will proceed to cause more fast effects across the board. Very useful. Why I really like this shotgun. Next up, for, next up for my uh, primary recommendations that I really like, I will be going with a assault rifle. That being the Soma Prime, or Soma for the early players. So the Soma by itself is not that bad. It has high critical chance, 10% status, and high crit multiplier. When it comes to the normal Soma, it is roughly the same thing. 30% crit, chan 30 crit chance and 3 times crit multiplier and low status, about the same thing. 200 magazine size, mainly in slash, then puncture, then impact. Once again, you can see that I have an incarnate on this. Into that 
it's a uh, wind up. Uh, what do you call this? It just it basically gets faster than one. Trigger. See, pretty accurate. Doesn't recoil that much and hits pretty average with no mods. Now, the way I recommend modding this thing is about the same way as I said the strun heat viral, but you can also run corrosive. Um, uh, you can run a status build with the Incarnan because the Incarnan actually changes it to be more of a status uh, spewer than a crit spewer. Once again, you do not need this Riven. This Riven can easily be replaced with uh, Serration. Serration can easily go here. You would obviously need a bit more crit, so you'd be hoping you wouldn't be able to get a uh, buff from me for that. But the way I see it, build it for Heat Viral, Hunting Munitions, and hit really hard crits. You do not need an excellent adapter. So, show it off real quick. It's going to take time for it to wind up, but once it winds up, as you see, it shots, it starts killing. Now, an advantage about this weapon is there is a mod from Father on Diamonds that will increase its crit, but that does not matter. The thing with this is it's Incarnate. It's Incarnate allows it to become like a shotgun. You get over shield on kill, reload speed, and increased damage by plus six on a reload from empty. That also gives it more damage. But I will be showing off the Incarnate. The Incarnate, like stated, is like a shotgun. It hits really hard. It will be as close ever to the end. But as you can see, hits really, really hard. So, for the returning players, I would recommend the Soma, which can be acquired at rank 6. If you are unable to acquire that, get the Baza. For people who are... I mean, sorry, for people who are new, get the Soma. For people who are returning, get Soma Prime from the Vaulted Relics, or, once again, use the basic Soma. They are both phenomenal options. Next up on the primary selections that I recommend, it, recommend would be... Uh, let's see. It's all up to what you prefer. Some people like the sniper, some people like another assault rifle. I'm actually going to go with a uh, bow. I personally like the Rock to Cernos. Now, this thing is not perfectly modded, it is not even close, but I really like it. Now, when it comes to the Rock to Cernos, it is a crit, but can also be a status weapon. It's all dependent on how you build it. It's two times crit multiplier, 35% crit chance. Has high impact and same puncture and slash. The benefit of the Rock to Cernos, but you can also use the normal Cernos or Cernos Prime. I like its unique trait, Blight. Gain affinity to fill the Red Veil meter and trigger a 25 meter viral explosion, which restores 25% of your energy and increases your movement speed. So, let us show us show off the weapon. The arrow skin is also something to ignore. As you can see, fast charge, really quick. And a punch there. Oh, I'm not going to be able to hit here. There you go. Has punch through. Goes through one person and into the other. I really like it. It's a very fun weapon, and I really enjoy using it. So, the way I recommend modding it is for crit, obviously. It's a bow. Your head, you're going to try to hit the head. You're going to hit hard. I recommend doing viral, because you're going to be trying to hit slash procs. Something you could also change on here is by using internal bleeding internal ble bleeding as you rank it up will give you a higher chance of hitting a slash status when you hit impact which is more likely to happen because it, this weapon is purely impact basically as you see almost 500 impact i recommend viral slash but that is also the point of punching munitions 30 percent chance on crit well we have 105 percent crit so let's show it off As you can see, it's not really recommended for uh, late stage fighting, obviously, but it's all dependent on how you use it, as you're not going to obviously bring this bow to, let's say, uh, fight Corrupted Heavy Gunner since it's near impact. You bring this for Infested or Corpus, etc. It's all dependent, though, because everyone likes using different weapons. As you see, it didn't take that long to kill them, but the Vile Explosion would have also helped in the end. All right, now that we're done with the primaries, it's time to show off my favorite secondaries. When it comes to my secondaries, as you see, I don't have a lot, but I like the ones I have. So we're gonna start off with my most used one, which is my Kuvanukor. My Kuvanukor is mainly 
meant for most people to be used as a primer. I don't like using it as a primer sometimes. I like just using it to kill. So, when I use it, as you can see, its starting stats are not that bad. Ignore the impact. It has 50 status, 21 radiation, good damage overall. The impact comes from it being a Kuva weapon. Otherwise, you can get the normal nuclear from the uh, uh, dojo from your clan. It would be in the Grenier one. So, as you can see, it chains onto other enemies and applies lots of status. You usually would do just something like this, where you would prime everybody and do something afterwards, like hit, uh, hit something with a melee or another weapon. So, when it comes to how I will modify mine, since I went with an impact um, boost, you see I have Magnum Force because accuracy doesn't matter, it can't miss. I have Hemorrhage, which applies a slash every time I hit impact. And since my fire rate is 10, it's a little high, but it's still Fox it. Galvanize shot because it helps with all the status effects we're applying, as you see viral red, heat, impact, and slash. Pistol pestilence and frostbite for the viral. Hornet strike for the extra damage. Galvanize diffusion for multi shot when you kill. And prime heated charge to add even more heat to the thing. Pistol enemy mutation so you get ammo, but obviously you can change these for whatever you prefer. Now, let's show it off. Once again, it will not start off strong, but the whole point of it is to cause a ton of status effects, as you see. But you see that yellow bar, the lower it gets, the better, because once it gets to a certain point, you can just mercy kill them. But you can use it just to prime everybody like this. That right there is why I really recommend the Nucor. Move a Nucor for people who are returning, and normal Nucor for new players. Next up on the list of secondaries I recommend for returning and new players would be, well, it's dependent. Do you like rapid fire? Do you like single fire? Do you like just burning the whole world? It's dependent. I like the Rattling Bones kit gun. Now, this kit gun will take a little bit of time to get to because it is locked behind Fortuna, which is on uh, Venus. When it comes to unlocking this, you'll have to get to... Um, a certain faction level with the Orval, not Orvalis, sorry, with Fortuna, Solaris United. To be exact, to just get one piece of it, you can do rank zero, but each part will be different. We're going to mainly be talking about the main piece, which is the Rattle Guts, which is what this is uh, right here on the front. This is the Rattle Guts. So, the way it's built, as you can see, it has high crit chance with my certain build, which has a Haymaker and something else. I don't remember, sadly. Haymaker and something else. As you can see, not bad stats. 33% crit, 2.3 multiplier. It's not that bad. It's a crit weapon. So, let's go test it out on some steel path on 145s. As you can see, it's causing puncture, uh, slash. It's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. It's pretty fast. It's causing radiation. It hits pretty hard. It's about as hard as an unmodded weapon can. But when I come to upgrade it, it's dependent on what I'm looking for. But I go for crit. I built it for crit, I'm going to use it for crit. As you can see, I have a Rattle Guts Riven, but you do not need this. This can be swapped out for whatever you want. Galvanized Shot, um, um, uh, Augur Seeker, no, Augur Seeker, I'm so sorry. No, Augur Seeker. I'm trying to think of it. Brain's thinking. Hemorrhage, Lethal Torrent, any of those. Heck, you can add another status, whatever you prefer. But as you can see, I went with Viral, Rad, Heat, Slash. This way, it can spread it. It has Pack Seeker and Secondary Merciless. Those are Arcanes. They do not need to be a part of this, but Pack Seeker is useful. So, as you see, it's quite slow. I obviously do not use this thing with characters that can't make it a little faster. I use it with this, but it's still very, very strong. It applies good stats, causes crits, but it's all whenever you get the headshot kill, which causes that. Those spread your stats, spread impact, and will help you do damage. Obviously, you can change this to make it shoot faster and make it do more damage. Mine is mainly used for doing low level missions, not in steel path missions. Finally, on the secondary weapons I recommend for new players and returning players would be the Ak Bolto Prime. You can use Ak Bolto, or you could also use the Ak Bolto, um, the Telos Ak Bolto. There we go. All three are very good options when coming to use this weapon. The Ak Volto unlocks at Mastery 8. When you go to get the Telos Ak Volto, that is at Mastery 11. And finally, when it comes to the Ak Volto Prime, that can be unlocked at 13. I really enjoy using this weapon a lot. So, 
let us show you how it works by itself. Again, do not need the ribbon. So, base stats for it are 36% crit chance, very high, and very high crit multiplier. You may see a theme. I really like my weapons that crit. It's mainly impact, but it also has uh, punch. As you can see, has a little bit of kick. Shoot twice. Isn't that uh, isn't that fast? Isn't that slow? It's about average. But as you see, it hits a lot of punch. I mixed up the two. My apologies. But when it comes to modding it, there's a lot of ways to do it. You can obviously go all crit. You can go status. And I wouldn't recommend status though, because it is quite hard to make a weapon that's not built for status become built for status. Usually, when you're above 20. You can go for another one. For example, if that status said 30, you could go status and crit. If that crit said 10, you wouldn't go for crit. So the way I built it is to go for crit. I have prime target cracker for crit damage. You can use normal target cracker. Same thing with normal pistol gambit for more crit. I don't recommend creeping bullseye because it slows it down and it makes it really hard to shoot. But it would in the end give you more. As you can see, if I find it, I'll take off jolt for now. Ah, uh, I can't show you, but I can't do this. As you would see, if I put on Creeping Bullseye, it already spikes straight to 108 just by itself. But I don't like how slow it makes my weapon, so I didn't use it in this case. But as you see, I built for Corrosive Slash. You could obviously put on Heat if you just drop, I don't know, uh, Hornet Strike if you have damage. But as you saw, I had the damage thing, so it's just to make sure and steady hand to deal with the recoil. All right. Now, let's show off how strong this weapon can be. You can also change out the Arcane for Deadhead or whatever. Now, these are still path on 145. As you can see, if I went with uh, Deadhead, which is why I'm hitting the head, it would do even more damage. But this thing is really good at stripping off the armor and just purely going through it and killing it from here. All right, as we come to the end of the video, we are getting into the melee weapons I prefer. As you see, I have quite a few I have, but only some of them I really like. Example would be some scythes, some swords, some hammers. You see a glaive, I don't use them. Some daggers, some normal swords, and a gun blade. Well, my first recommendation would be hate. The hate is a scythe dropped by the stalker. He is unlocked during a certain mission. I forgot which. But the hate is a master 8 weapon, meaning once you hit master 8, you'll be able to unlock it. When it comes to the hate, it is a rather slow-ish weapon. I will be putting that on, but it can be sped up. The base stats are not bad. 36% crit, 30 status, 2.5 crit multiplier, and a lot of slash, meaning it's going to hit quite hard. So let's show it off. As you can see, it does lift up. It's not even that bad of damage with fly status. Specifically slash, want, but it doesn't do that bad. Combos are a little slow, obviously. When it comes to modding it, it's dependent on what you're looking for. As you see, I have two builds up here. Let's ignore these. We'll go with this, not that one, this one. As you see, this one says Corrosive Slash Puncture Impact. This is because my certain build allows me to have Viral. You would usually build Viral for this and try to get Heat or go for a Heavy Attack build. So I will show off this one. Obviously, it's not going to perform to its best because it's not using the build it's meant for, but it's not going to be bad, as you see. Already killed one. Already killed two more. As you see, it's not even bad. It hits quite hard. And as you see, I activated its incarnate form, which just makes it even stronger. Because now it applies heat. And with the corrosive, you shred the armor rapidly. Which is why I really like using the heat with its incarnate adapter, which applies heat and lets you shoot out the scythe blades. So when it comes to this, uh, melee weapon, I really recommend the hate for new and returning players. Next up on the we melee weapons, I recommend for players to use. It's dependent on your playstyle. It's all dependent on whether you like the slow weapons, the fast weapons, the quick ones, the stealthy ones. It's all dependent. But I really enjoy using the Graham Prime. Graham Prime, sadly, is vaulted. So for people who do not have the ability to get Graham Prime, they can always just get normal Graham. Normal Graham can be um, bought from, I believe, the store. It has a Mastery Rank 2 requirement, meaning you can get it really early on, and it is a Heavy Blade. It's not that bad hitting. It's a little slow, granted, a little slow, so it will be a little bit to get adjusted to, but I really enjoy using it. What does this one use? Temple Royale that I'm using. Obviously, I will be putting on a stance to show off it better. So, as you can see, just from the base, it is quite slow, but... 
Oops. <laughs> As you can see, it doesn't hit that hard even without the mods. It hits. It doesn't hit that bad without mods. Why is slash proc? It doesn't hit that bad. And these are still path enemies to hit these enemies on. So, not that bad. But when it comes to modding, it's dependent on what you're looking for. If you want more speed, buy more speed. If you want certain damage, go for certain damage. I went with crit. As you see, I need to hit it with another forma. I will get to that later. This is usually built in mind with having uh, some speed applied to it, like Volt. Volt gives speed, war cry, etc. This would usually be applied with more speed because it's, it swings a little slow. As you see, high crit, I have viral, I have slash, and I have a high good, good amount of status, meaning I should be able to apply status to it. So, as you see, instantly hitting the orange, viral crits. As you see though, it's not hitting that bad. Kill bad guy already. Doesn't even hit that bad. It is slow, as I said, but you would obviously get it if you need it, more speed, etc. But it does not do that bad when it comes to killing heavy beings. It's still bad. So, when it comes to another melee weapon I recommend, the Gram or Gram Prime is a very good option. Finally, on the weapons I recommend in the melee category, this one is dependent on your playstyle. If you like swords, I will be giving two options. You could either go with, didn't even click that, the Broken War, which is unlocked from doing a quest. I think I can say it. I don't remember. Basically, it is given to you after uh, you fight a sentient called Hunhao, who is controlling the stalker. It's in the second dream quest. Or you could go with Penguin Prime, or any other simple one-handed swords you like. I will be showing off Broken War. Granted, I don't use this thing as much anymore. As you see, it's quite old. So I'll be showing off two in this case. Broken War being a single sword, which everyone loves, but when it comes to weapons, I will recommend Helium Core. It is another heavy blade. In this case, it's a hammer. The Helium Core for me is, well, a cherished weapon. I started using it on PlayStation when the game was really early on. It hits really hard. It unlocks a Master Rank 9. You get it from Cephalon Samaras. I like it because of its basically high Riven Dispo, easy to get to crit chance because it has a 38% crit, 12% status. The Cyanoid Helio Core is its alternative, which gives it more status than crit. That's given by uh, Suda, Cephalon Suda. So let me respawn these goons because I have completely forgotten to. Let's show it off. Normal healer core, no mods, as like this. This is without a stance. As you see, not, not a bad uh, attack combo at all. Its heavy attack is quite nice, it lifts up enemies. Another advantage of the healer core is when you get a kill, it scans the enemy. So, the way I mod it, obviously, is crit. 214% crit, 5.2 crit chant, uh, crit multiplier. Obviously, if I format this again, I would be able to make it a lot stronger, hit harder, etc. But sadly, I can't. I will be showing it off the vault this time, just to show, as I would have done with Graham, how it would be used normally. So, let me get a bit energy because I forgot. So, this is the Helio Core. As you see, if you get speed, it goes a lot faster. See, so as I get a kill, it scans the creature. And it's killing them in a respectful time, as you see. If I could aim, it kill them a little bit. And if you use Tenno Kai, which is the only thing they added, you will occasionally get people to use a free heavy attack, which, when you do that, it's quite hard, as you saw the previous mission crit. And then I hit over 600% crit. So, when it comes to another weapon I would recommend for this video, I would recommend the Helio Core. So, I hope you guys enjoy these recommendations. As I said, they are the ones I recommend. None of these are meta, not even slightly close. And each one of them has a variety of being used. As I will show you, this is usually what I run when I do my missions. I would run my Soma. I would run my... I can choose it. My Akbolto Prime and my Hate. The hate build needs to be changed for whenever I'm not using a, viral, a Volt plus Shock Trooper, Viral or Electric. I need to make one more build. But you will just continue to work around the things you build with. Because each uh, character uses a weapon differently. When it comes to Hydroid, he applies certain status. I completely forgot how I threw you over there. 
He applies corrosive, so you can use things like heat, slash, etc. Every weapon has its own variety of reasons to be used and what you'll be using them for. So, I hope this video helps y'all figure out weapons you may like. As I said, these are my recommendations. They are not the meta or anywhere near. Each one can be changed. Each one has a variety. Like I said earlier, when I, whenever I mentioned the Soma, you could use the Baza. The Baza is unlocked at Master Rank 7. It can be bought from the 1011, the Clan Dojo. If you can't get the Baza, you can use the Bratton. The Bratton is early on given to many Tenno. During the first mission, you'll get the Mark 1 Bratton, but you can buy the normal brand from the shop for just a couple credits, and it's Master Rank 0. But each weapon has its own variety, each person has their own different taste and weapon they will use, and each person chooses what they feel like best suits them. So, I hope this video helps y'all uh, figure out some weapons you may want to try, and what you think you may like in the end if you come back and play them. That would be, that'd be all for today. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, morning, midnight, whatever it is for you. I hope it's a great rest of your time. Soldier out. Peace out, guys.